During the flight to London, attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. Captain speaking, we have reached a cruising altitude at 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seatbelt and no smoking signs. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? Say a stop for Svayara. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the Biological Explosives Research Team. Biological Explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. How is such a thing possible? Ah... Uh... I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issues. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. You would make a fine pupil. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your competence. Apology accepted. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies. We're going aboard. What's this loss? I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Look, I know you're there. <clears throat> Look, really. Please. We've almost got to the right between your beady little oh, eyes, my friend. I know you're in here somewhere. Oh dear, what have we here? Ah! I'm going to hide down here if it's all the same to you. Ah! Oh, we're not so strong now, are we?
So much for a lovely relaxing flight. Sleep tight, lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir! <laughs> 